You know, I got it. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in paradise on this glorious spring evening in New York, baby. It is Thursday night. Thursday night. That would be May 2nd, 2024. So, uh, global industrial civilization has brought me back to bugs in a jar farm. And, uh, <laughs> uh I tell you guys, uh, I just want to, uh, raise a toast raise a toast to global industrial civilization so i have been gone for six months it was october 30th 2023 i pulled out of bugs in a jar farm six months <clears throat> disappeared just went to an entirely different planet got in my truck went off to a another planet for six months did that got in my gas sucking truck and drove back and here I am again so uh, of course I started my I started my day today with the uh, with the collapse of global industrial civilization so when i went to bed last night my computer was it was acting a little bit weird i have to admit the computer was acting a little bit weird at 11:30 last night get up this morning the entire computer is destroyed i, I mean it's not just can you hear the fox i don't know if you guys can hear that See if we can see if you can hear the fox barking. That noise is—it's actually the uh, the female fox. It is the vixen. It is the horny vixen. What that is, is a female fox. He's right up behind Blue Dragon Tiny House. Those little blinking dots are the solar lights. She's looking for a man. Yes, I am looking for a vixen, and she's looking for a man. These are the spring peepers that you're hearing. The spring peepers are peeping. Uh, so anyway, I, so I started my day with the collapse of global industrial civilization. I guess the focus on this camera... That is a weird sound. The sound of the fox. And then, uh, so I get back here after six months of being gone, and within two hours of being here, I already have two of the three tiny houses uh, fully wired up to the grid we're gonna be a little more modern this year all oh, these goddamn solar panels and all that bullshit it's give me a big ass of extension cord i'm so sick and tired of i hear the word solar panel again just hook me into the grid Oh, these little blinking lights. So these solar lights went right through the winter. That light straight ahead. That is a solar light. The solar lights up the hill. You know, in, in the forest, I... 
that is a solar light there. This solar light I have had, I think, for three years on the front of uh, on the front of Hummingbird Tiny House. I think that solar light and uh, these blinking here. All right, I'm pretty sure this is the third year that those. I didn't even bring them in this winter. They have just been sitting out here every night for the past six months just doing what solar lights do. But, uh, you, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just so bizarre to be uh, living in this time. Uh, <laughs> 300,000 years, they say, that kind of weaving around. And th this is really... Uh, this is a one-off, and I understand exactly how uh, how goddamn lucky I am to uh, d just pretty much lead two separate lives. Thanks to global industrial civilization, pretty much just two separate lives. Uh... <laughs> that that have, that have very little overlap, and uh, and just how I mean, it's just weird how you can get in a gas sucking truck, and uh, you know, I I could be in Florida the day after tomorrow, and I you know I could have made it back uh, in, in in two days. And uh, they, these people who just uh, just don't get out there and and enjoy a global industrial civilization while they still can. I I just don't get it. Uh, so. Anyway, I will be back I'm dealing with this damn broken down computer tomorrow. But tonight, I am listening to the spring peepers. I am listening to the rushing mountain stream. I am listening to the hoot owls. And the foxes. And it's just a fine night. And we will get up tomorrow and get back to work. Getting bugs in a jar farm. Ready for another season. Come see me at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I need to get back to my... Uh... No ice cubes here. talk about the collapse of global industrial civilization there's not an ice cube in this house my first margarita at bugs in a jar farm with no ice how will i survive the no one said the collapse of global industrial civilization was going to be pretty first thing to go will be ice cubes so get out there and enjoy your ice cubes well, you still can. My guys. <laughs>